Previously, I showed you how to export your diagrams from Enterprise Architect as image files. Now I want to show you some image export options that can help in particular scenarios. Firstly, assume you want to print the diagram to a large format, such as to a poster. We can use the Publish ribbon, then Image, and you can scale the image to double or even quadruple its normal size. So let's choose the 200% option, then re-export the image, and we'll compare the original and the enlarged one side by side. So opening that up in my file explorer, let's open the original one first. And then moving to the enlarged image, you see that I can zoom in. I'm going to its uh, normal size. You can see I've got a large and still a very smooth uh, image of the diagram there. The next option I want to discuss is the ability to suppress the diagram caption, that is the, the diagram name here, along with the border uh, that is normally exported with the uh, diagram image. It can be useful in many circumstances, but sometimes you want to suppress that. So how do we do that? Well, back in Enterprise Architect, from the Start ribbon, under Preferences, you'll see a Diagram Options page. And under Diagram Frames here, we can choose to turn the diagram caption and the border off. So we'll just take that off now. Another option you may want to explore is the ability to have opaque or transparent uh, diagram labels. So these would be, for example, the names on connector labels, role names, that kind of thing. If you've got a slide background and you want that to show through and have the diagram superimposed, you may want to turn off the opaque diagram label options. Uh, sometimes I find that uh, useful. I'll let you experiment with that. But for now, let's see how the diagram frame options work. So again, we'll just export the image from the Publish ribbon. Again, we'll have a look at that in the Image Viewer. And there you see we've got uh, the same diagram, but this time without the border and the, the diagram caption. The final option that I want to show you is the ability to change the appearance of diagrams in a couple of ways. Firstly, to print a black and white version of your diagram. So under the Layout ribbon, you have the ability to change the diagram appearance using the whiteboard mode. So when I select that, you see I've got a black and white version of the diagram. Now that can be useful, for example, if you are publishing to a standards white paper where a color diagram simply were not an option. In some book publishing formats, uh, you may want to use a black and white version of the diagram. So a very easy option there to turn on. You can then re-export the image to get a black and white version of the diagram. Also under the uh, appearance menu there, we can use a hand-drawn mode to clearly indicate that the design is still uh, in sort of draft mode, if you like. So clicking that, you see it kind of roughens the appearance of the diagram, and that may make the audience uh, more inclined to provide feedback and comment. So let's uh, use a colored hand-drawn mode in this case. We'll re-export the image, just for the sake of an example. This time we'll export it uh, to the clipboard. So click Save to Clipboard from the Publish ribbon again. Then I'll open an image editor and right click to paste in the diagram image from clipboard. You can see it here compared to the original. And now zooming in, we see a nice representation of our design in hand-drawn mode this time. This is another way to share the design outside the modeling environment to help elicit feedback. So I've shown you some options to change the overall appearance of the diagram to print it with or without the caption and border, and to export the diagram as a large-scale image.